Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. We are starting the next part of my makeup inventory. Part five, maybe? I think this is part five. Not sure. Um, where we left off? We left off at eyeshadow trios. So we're gonna jump into my quads and go up from there. If you have not been overwhelmed yet, don't worry. Your feelings of anxiety are coming because I have an amazing amount of eyeshadows. I know this is kind of a controversial statement, but when it comes to eyeshadow, I don't follow any rules for timelines. I know some ABH palettes say six months, some Too Faced palettes say 18 months. I don't care. Maybe that's the rebel inside of me. Maybe that's the cheapskate inside of me. I'm not sure, but are you coming to steal the spotlight? Are you coming to steal my spotlight? Get up here. What are you doing? You want to say good morning? Good morning. They can't see you. Good morning. Oh, oh, it's so bright. Oh, don't look at the lights. Look right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me go finish filming, okay? You know Ron can't help but make an appearance when he sees me filming. Basically, I am going to keep my eyeshadows forever. Well, until further notice. There's no timeline. There's no like, oh, this is so many months old or so many years old. It's staying indefinitely. I know some people have really, really sensitive skin, really, really sensitive eyes, and if you are one of those people and you followed those guidelines to a T, I get it. If if my skin reacted negatively to some of the products I used, I wouldn't keep using them. But I've had zero issue. And some of my eyeshadows are over 10 years old, easily, possibly 20. I mean, I have some old, old, old eyeshadows and I've never once had a reaction ever. I've gotten pink eye once or twice in my life. I'm pretty sure I got it from working with kids in the schools, not from my makeup, when I did get pink eye, I did end up tossing the eyeliners that I had been using those, like the day I realized I got it. But other than that, I've never ever had an issue from my makeup, particularly eyeshadows. So I've been very lucky. And obviously if the day ever comes that I get have eye irritation from any of these products, they're out of here, they're gone. But until then, I have had no reason to declutter makeup because of its age. The only makeup I've really had problems with are the cream and liquid products that dry out on me. But as far as the powder products, they just keep going and going and going until I finish them. So just a little preface, I've been going through the comments and seeing some comments about the age of the products and yeah. We'll see, time will tell. Maybe something will happen down the road that will force me to, um, come to terms with the age of some of my products, but for now, I'm still using them. All right, guys, I hope you've been enjoying this inventory series so far. I really appreciate your support and I really appreciate that you're watching and commenting. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, we are back at my Alex Ikea drawers and we are going into drawer number four. One, two, three, four. And this is where I store two pan palettes, three pan palettes, four pan palettes, five, six, and seven pan palettes. So anywhere between two and seven pan palettes reside in this drawer. And that's mostly what we're gonna be talking about today. I might try to squeeze in eight pan palettes in this video, depending on time but the majority of this video is what? Four through seven. Okay guys, this is part one of my quad stash. And these are basically all drugstore range quads. Here, um, I have a lot of these Maybelline iStudio quads. I really love the formula of these. This one is I had to repress that, that's why this is such a mess, it shattered. This one is Copper Chic. And it's just warm neutrals before warm neutrals were even a thing. 
These three are all Ulta freebies, gifts with purchase. These are two of the Milani Fierce Foil Eyeshines. This one is the more neutral quad, like warm neutral. And then this one is pinks and purples right here. Ugh. Here are two little elf quads. These were like a dollar or two. This one's in butternut. No, leave my makeup alone. This one is in Lux. I think I probably used this one once. I don't think I've ever used that one. What are you doing? I was just going to talk about that one. Here, let me show them. This is the All May. It's, it's technically a trio with an eye base, but I keep it in my quads inventory but i was thinking about making this my baby pan that palette and then i decided against it well you guys voted against it but i would like to work on this i just love the shades you're getting ahead Hayes. you're getting ahead we're not down here yet that's okay all right we have two matte pal matte quads from physicians formula this one's a Nice rosy purple one called Quartz Quartet. This one is more Mom, neutral Mom, browns called I... Canyon Classics. Did you... Did you... you see it? You see it? No, it's the makeup. Oh. I absolutely love the shades in the Sonia Kashuk quad. This is Bed of Mom, Roses. Mommy, but some of them give me a ton of fallout. Please. Even though this is has a glitter in it, it Mom. makes an amazing transition Mommy. shade. Mommy! Oh. Mom, I need help. You do need help. You and me both. Here you go. That one's... Touch these. Here's an old CoverGirl quad. I don't think I've ever used it. It is... Country Woods. What are you doing? You're using the sponge tip applicator and everything. I have three L'Oreal quads here. I probably got them all on clearance when they were discontinuing this packaging. This I one like is leaves. Autumn Leaves. This one is Bronzes. And this one is Lavender Smokes. Then they switched to this packaging, and so I picked this one up when it was on clearance. This is Rose for Romance. This is my new purchase for 2018. It kind of looks a lot like Rose for Romance. This is the Petalit. Petalit? Petalit. Hey, are you making a mess? So my inventory did go up by one because of this guy. It's about to go down by one with Hazel's help. Here's a little itty bitty sample of Mary Kay shadows. I really like that peachy color. Um, this one. An old Revlon quad. This one is Sterling Rose. This came in an Ipsy bag. It's a Nika K quad. I don't know if I've ever used it. <coughs> Sneezing and farting. You guys are killing me. I have two of the I Love Sara E quads from ColourPop. This one is saucy. And it looks like that. Sorry, somebody keeps knocking the tripod. And then I have Chicky, 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 and it's a more neutral roundup of shades. 
This quad is from Jean Michel. Never heard of it. Got it from my mom. And it's a pretty basic quad. I have two Maybelline quads. This one is Autumn Coppers. And this one is Designer Chocolates. This one is from a company called Makeup Designery. I've never heard of them. This was a hand-me-down from Jamie. But those colors seem really nice. And then finally, I have an Ulta quad called Girl Next Door, and it's a lot of greens. So yeah, these are in my category of drugstore quads. I have 32. And I don't have any of these in a project right now. I'm not really working on them. I would love to. But none of them are in a project right now. Okay, here are my high-end quads. I currently have 22. I actually finished one last year. It was from Estee Lauder. But the Patrick Star Mac collection came into my life in 2018. So I'm right back where I was. This is what it looks like. So these four from Lorac came in a holiday set many moons ago. This one's called the dark chocolate and you could tell somebody was playing with this this is the toffee crunch uh oh that somebody just fell off a therapy ball this is white chocolate and this is tease me truffles this is the Lorac Pro to Go palette. Tell me. And this is the Lorac Wild for Tantalizer quad. I love this quad for summer. It makes an appearance every summer. This is an old Too Faced quad called, I don't know. It's just a bunch of singles that they put together in a quad. Up at the top here, I have four Bare Minerals quads. This one is the soundtrack. This one is the happy place, right? Yes. This one is the rare find. And this one is the modern icon. I have an Edward hey, Best. Mom. Hi, Hayes. Go by Daddy. No, Mom. Oh. I have an Edward Best quad that I bought off a of Holt look. Peace. This one is called Peace. Sun and Stars. Hold on, I'm not there yet, Hayes. This was a gift with purchase from Estee Lauder. Here are two... Hmm. Here are two Becca quads. This one is... Galactica. And this one is Astro Violet. This is, of course, the Dose of Colors and Desi and Katie collab. Hazel is holding a Tarte Quad called Secret Garden. And this Tarte Quad is Invoke the Smoke. Uh -uh. This is an old Victoria's Secret quad called, who knows? I can't tell, but it's just a, not, a lot of nice bronzy shades. This looks brand new, doesn't it? I've probably only used it a couple times. This is my little Clinique gift with purchase in the teddy bear quad. And this is a Lancome quad that was a gift with purchase as well. All right, so these are my high-end quads. Okay, here are my five pan palettes. I have 17 five pan palettes. That number went up by one since last year. 
So let me show you what they are. The new one is this Urban Decay and Kristen Leanne collab. I got this off of Holt Look. I only made one Holt Look purchase in all of 2018. I've really tried to stop shopping on Holt Look, but I did pick this up when it, Urban Decay went on Holt Look. This is a five pan palette from an indie company called Lala Cosmetics. I don't think they're around anymore. They used to be sold on Etsy. And the, uh, the top layer of this brown shade kind of crumbled off. I think I was a little too rough with the palette. But um, these are seriously pigmented matte shadows that are perfect for fall. I also have the Becca and Jaclyn Hill collab eyeshadow palette. It's very pretty. This is an old Lorac Quint, and as fancy as it is, I would not be against depotting it because it's just taking up a ton of space. And these are the shadows inside. This is a Tarina Tarantino Quint. My favorite kind of colors. This was one of the Fergie Quints. I don't know what the name of this Quint was, but I bought it for this taupey silvery shade. And I love this rose gold shade too. Actually, I love all these shades. I use this a lot for like months and months and months. And then I put it away and never picked it up again but I really love the shades in this one. This is from Josie Moran. Honestly, this quint is a little bit disappointing and I tend to not use this on its own. I always like layer something shimmery on top of it to make it just look a little bit nicer. This is from Laura Geller. I think it came out last Christmas and I've never used it. This is an old old tart quint quintessentially travel chic five in one eyeshadow palette the pans are ginormous huge pans in this palette these are all mac quints this one's peach lux copper lux i think this one's amber lux yes i got it right amber lux and Plum Lux. These are basically the same product in from two different brands and two different sizes, but this is a NYX glitter palette. I think I got it in an Ipsy bag. I've never used it even once. I'm thinking it might go in my Project 10 uses. Kind of forced myself to wear some glitter. This is from JCat Beauty. Same idea, almost identical shades. This is the NYX Love in Florence Quint. I don't think I've ever used this either. Maybe I've used it once. How do you open it? There we go. And then this is part of a holiday collection that came out from Stila a few years ago. And I absolutely love these shades. I don't know if you guys saw that video where um, Tati went through her sister's makeup bag and this was the palette her sister was using. And I was like, yes, I love that palette. So these are my five pan palettes. I don't have any in projects right now. I don't know if I'm going to put any of these in projects in 2019 time will tell my hands are pretty full with the eyeshadows i've already picked out to work on so we'll see if there's anything you guys ever want to see in particular let me know hopefully some of them will get rotated into my project 10 uses that would will be the best bet for me to get some use out of these yeah okay this is going to be take two for my six pan palettes because somehow I managed to forget that I owned three Pat McGrath palettes that all had six pans in them. So my six pan palette inventory has more than doubled since last year. I can clearly see that this was an area of weakness for 2018 for me. 
I had 10 six pan palettes last year and now I have 21. So if there was an award for anti-panning, I think I would win it. Let's take it from the top. <clears throat> this is an old six pan elf palette book and I love these kind of colors. So I hang on to it. This is the Dolly's Wild Side palette from Buxom. I haven't used it yet. This is the White Russian on the Rocks palette from Buxom. I did use this a few times in January for the first time and I absolutely loved the formula of these. So I am pleased, aside from the fact that the packaging of these is adorable. This is an old Lorac palette that I bought at Sephora. It's probably one of my first high-end purchases. And my taste in eyeshadow hasn't really changed much over the years. I still love these kind of dusty, plummy shades. So that's good to know. I have two e.l.f. Prism palettes. This one is the Sunset one. And this one is the na Naked. Yeah, Naked one. All of those palettes that I've shown so far were in my inventory last year. Here are some new ones. The City Mini Palette and Shayla collaboration with Maybelline. That's new. This Ulta palette was a gift with purchase. Reminds me a lot of the Lorac one. This ColourPop Pretty Much palette. These two NYX ones I've had for a while. This is In Bloom. And this one is Unraveled. One of these e.l.f. palettes I had before and one is new. This is the new one in Island Breeze. This is the one I already had. This is Cool Mist. I'll save Pat McGrath till the end. I got the Touch and Soul Medalist palette in 2018 when it was on sale at Sephora. The Skinny Dip palette from Jouer came in my um, Beautylish Lucky bag for January of 2018. I picked up the Naked Basics palette when it was on sale at Holt Look. I've had this Physician's Formula six pan palette for a while. The first take of this same video, Hazel dug my brush right in there and was totally digging for pan. I recently got the Viseart Theory palette in the shade Minx during the Sephora sale. It was during the VIB sale, but I also it was also on sale, so I got it on double sale, if that's such a thing. All right, and then finally, my three Pat McGrath palettes. This one is currently in my Pan and Every Palette project. And this is the La Vie and Rose palette. This is the Bronze Ambition palette. And then finally, this is the Platinum Bronze Palette. All right, so here are my six pan palettes. Okay, here are my seven pan palettes. I went up by one in this category from last year. These two I've had. This one is new. It is my Too Faced... Razzle Dazzle Berry Eyeshadow Palette. And it looks like this. Oh, it's gorgeous. I also have this Marc Jacobs Palette in Provocateur. I received this as a 
birthday or Christmas present from my brother. And finally, this is a Lorac palette in Champagne Dreams, and it's all kind of light, shimmery shades. And I am one of those people who feels like you always need a bunch of light, shimmery shades, right? I might be wrong about that, but I feel that way. So yes, these are my seven pan eyeshadow palettes and they went up by one since last year's inventory. Okay, here are my eight pan palettes. I had 14 at last year's inventory and I have 18 now. So obviously I bought four new palettes. I did not finish, declutter, use up any. So this category has just grown. There's only one in a project right now, and that is my Moon Dust palette. It is in my Pan in Every Palette project, and I am working to hit pan in any one of the shades in this palette. Let's take it from the top. This is the Wet n Wild Walking the Red Carpet Limited Edition palette. It looks like this. I feel like this palette was always a little bit disappointing from my expectations of Wet n Wild 8-pan palettes, but I don't know. It swatched pretty nicely. Can make it work. This is the Petal Pusher palette. I've never actually used it, but it did have a little accident with it getting dropped on the floor. I'm trying not to think about it too much because it's not like I can buy this again but that's okay. <laughs> this is the Comfort Zone palette, the original Comfort Zone. This is the Pure Soul Mats palette. This is the Pure... I forget. I don't remember what the name of this palette is called, but it looks like that. I have an old Kardashian Beauty palette. This is another one that was a bit of a letdown. I haven't tried using them wet, which is why I'm holding on to this. I think they might perform a little bit better if I use them wet. I have the Goldens and the Roses palette from CoverGirl, and I like the goldens very much. I haven't actually used the roses one yet, but those colors are right up my alley. This is the Smashbox Ablaze eyeshadow palette. And the Sultry eye palette. Mom, could I have strawberries? Yes. Oh. Oh. This is a Narcissist oh palette. This is one of my new purchases for 2018. It's the Viseart Palette Petite Pro 2, I think. Yeah, Petite Pro 2. This is a little Bobbi Brown palette that I found at TJ Maxx. Yeah, there we go. I knew there was eight shadows in there. Um, this is my Moon Dust palette. No pan yet. This is the Missy Lynn palette. It's technically an eyeshadow and baked highlighter palette, but the highlighter shades are too deep for my skin tone. So I'm considering it an all eyeshadow palette because that's how I would use these baked shadows. This is the Venus 3 from Lime Crime. This is the Alamar Cosmetics palette, volume one. And this is the Too Faced Sugar Cookie Palette that came out around the holidays. Oh, I could smell it. Yum. So yes, these are all of my eight pan palettes.